Hello, thank you so much for joining me for this video today. I hope you're doing fantastic. If this is your first time here, I'm TJ. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm into everything about at-home skincare devices, Korean skincare products, and digging a little bit deeper behind the science behind how everything works. And I try to do all of this without it being too technical or difficult to understand. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, why not join me on my journey by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell so you're the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Today's video is something that is very close to my heart and that is my eyelids because for the longest time going, I had the worst hooded eyelids around. If you've seen any of my earlier videos or you've been with me since the start of my skincare journey, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. They were hanging down, they used to obscure my vision, they would irritate the life out of me. And of course they aged me so much. But over the last year and a half, I've pretty much managed to get rid of them and I've done this without having to opt for surgery. Now obviously having bleph surgery done is going to be a faster option for most people. But for me, going under the knife isn't something that I would really consider, especially not at this point in my life. And it's because of these that I actually got into home skincare devices and all of the products and everything that I've done. Because A, I couldn't afford to go to have them surgically operated on even if I wanted to. And two, I just don't feel like I'd feel comfortable having my eyelids sliced open, cauterized, restitched, and then looking maybe not right for me. For a lot of people, the results look fantastic, but I just feel like at this point in my life, it's not time. So everything I've done has been done by me, myself, at home, keeping things non-invasive and as safe as possible. Now, talking about the start of my journey, you'll notice that in my videos, I'm using radio frequency and I'm literally using it around my eyes. And I'd done that for around about seven or eight months before realizing that actually placing a radio frequency device around my eyes isn't the best idea. Obviously, the frequency penetrates the skin as it passes through those skin cells. It kind of excites them, causes them to move around. They're bumping into each other and they're generating heat. And this heat can be excessive. But the thing is that whilst that heat is needed for that skin contraction and collagen production and elastin production, the skin around the eyes is also super thin, which means that you run a real risk of cooking your eyeballs. But not only that, in the lower part of the eye, you have your optic nerve that runs through here. And if you go over that too much and you heat it up, you could cause damage and it could cause visual issues. This is something that I've touched on in a past video, readdressing why I no longer use radio frequency around my eyes. But that kind of sucks because the radio frequency really did help a lot because it heated up that loose skin to around about 41, 42 degrees Celsius, which is exactly where you want it to be for collagen denaturation, which is basically where the collagen strands, they start to unravel. The body reabsorbs these, it floods the area with fibroblasts, white blood cells. And what this does then is in place of that old collagen, it puts down type three collagen, which is a pre-collagen. And this pre-collagen is what eventually turns into type one collagen, which is abundant throughout our bodies. But it's also one of the main contributors for having plump skin, having youthful looking skin, for having plenty of elastic properties to the face, kind of holding everything up. Now I could be doing plasma fibroblast and I love doing that, but the thing with that is that there's quite a bit of downtime when it comes to doing something as intense around the eyes that's gonna really get results. So it's something that I will only do maybe once a year now rather than every three months like I was doing. And I've been hunting for something that is going to work without the radio frequency, without the plasma fibroblast. And that is when I stumbled across this, the Even Skin Venus. The Even Skin Venus is a premium eyelid anti-aging device that uses thermal collagen stimulation, active ionic uptake, LED phototherapy, and sonic massage to firm the aging eyelid skin, reduce bags under the eyes, resolve dark circles around the eyes, and stimulate and rejuvenate eyelid skin cells, which to me is amazing. So as you can see, it's a dinky little device. It's really, really sleek. It's well made. It's got a little bit of weight to it. And the design of the tip is perfectly contoured to reach around all of the parts of the eyes that you need to be treating, which includes the upper eyelid, the skin over the soft tissue area above the orbital rim. This is perfectly safe to use in those areas, unlike with radio frequency. So the Even Skin Venus has been designed to take care of a lot of different issues around the eyes that many people experience as they get older, me included. 
It encourages the skin cells to repair themselves and promote cell regeneration via a variety of different mechanisms. It's been specifically designed and created to reverse the signs of aging, especially around the eyes, and these tend to be the biggest giveaways when it comes to your age. It addresses common issues such as fine lines and wrinkles, under eye bags, dark circles, shadowing, crepiness, and dull and lackluster skin. The two main modes of the Even Skin Venus are the collagen activation mode and the skin firming nutrient uptake mode. Now while it doesn't utilize radio frequency as part of its operation, it does heat the skin up to 42 degrees Celsius or 107.6 Fahrenheit, which is perfect for regenerating those eyelid skin cells in that super thin tissue, whilst only penetrating deep enough to take care of those skin cells and not reaching the eye itself. With successive treatments, what this does is it helps to tighten the skin and build up that collagen, which helps to thicken the skin, plump things out, lift out any fine wrinkles and crepiness, and knock a few years off of your perceived age. The ionic function helps your products that you apply around your eyes penetrate deeper so that they can get to work better. So choosing the best kind of products for cell regeneration and skin renewal is a good idea. It also features a sonic massage function in there which is activated when you're using it and what this does is it boosts lymphatic drainage, it improves the circulation to the skin so that pulls all of that blood to the surface, drawing away any toxins, and flooding the area with plenty of oxygen rich blood. It helps to get rid of those eye bags which tends to be caused by lymphatic fluid buildup. So the massage feature in this really does help to shift that lymphatic fluid through the lymphatic system as the body doesn't do that on its own. So it needs a little bit of help. And obviously the increase in oxygen to the area helps to boost the nutrients in the skin and softens the fine lines and wrinkles in combination with the thermal collagen heat activation mode. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick eye treatment showing you how I use it, the products that I use it with, and just how easy it is to do. So the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you clean your skin, that there's no oil or makeup or any residue on there really, because as this has the ionic function, what you're gonna be doing is pushing all of that into the skin, which isn't great for it. So I have just cleansed my face before starting this video. And then you apply your favorite eye cream or serum, just as you normally would. For me, I'm using the Purito Centella Green Level Buffet Serum, which contains 49% Centella Asiatica Extract, Palmitoyal Peptide Complex, Asiatic and Metacascic Acid, and a variety of clean ingredients. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this on the lower eyelid area first. So just a few drops onto my fingertips and just dab this on. So remember when you're working with your eyelid skin, it is really fragile and the more you stretch it in and pull it in and rub it, the more crepey it's gonna get over time. So dabbing and tapping is always the best way. Then to turn this on, all I'm gonna do is push and hold this button right here, three seconds, and you'll notice that the red LED light comes on. That means that the device is now active and it will activate as soon as it touches your skin. It's angled perfectly for working in the eye area. You start in the tear trough and straight away it kicks in with its vibration. And you're literally just running it backwards and forwards. For me, I like to run this for around about a minute on this area on each side, just to really bring that skin temperature up. There's no burning, it's nothing unbearable. You can feel this really gentle warming start that builds up in intensity very slowly, which is ideal. Okay, that's around about a minute and a half that I've done here. Now, to change this to the ionic function, it's really easy. The moment it's on the red light, all you do is you give it a shake and it turns to the blue light. I'm just gonna apply just a touch more of the serum for Glide, and obviously I want this product to be absorbed. And there we go. And then just repeating the same motion again.
and then a little bit of the serum and then onto the upper eyelid area bringing it right onto the lid itself shake it to turn it back to the heat induction mode and then starting on the inside of the eyelid area there we go So when you're doing this, if you feel that you want a little bit of vibration when it stops vibrating and it's heating up, all you do is you just gently rest your finger on the power button and it comes on. As soon as you let go, it will stop again. It's on the blue. And that is the first eye done. So I'm gonna quickly do the second eye. So again, just repeating the process. Product under the eye. Bring this around here as well. Gonna turn it from the blue to red and then straight onto the skin. The phototherapy in here is using the red light therapy. And what this is doing is also penetrating into the skin to encourage cell renewal. Then it's combining this with the heat and obviously with the massage as well, which is draining the lymphatic fluid away from under the eyes, which is really gonna get rid of those eye bags. And again, I'm gonna do about a minute and a half under the eye area. Ionic blue and then the upper lid turn it to red and we're on Skin is feeling really, really warm now, which is exactly what I've been looking for. You know, it's so nice to actually be able to get onto the actual eyelid itself and target that crepey skin, because obviously when you're using radio frequency, you tend to just be using it on the bone area just above the eye to try and get some lift going on, which doesn't really tighten the skin. It's just elevating it and moving it upwards and then onto the ionic. And it really is as quick and easy as that. Now I've had the Even Skin Venus for around about three weeks now. And as I do with all of my devices, I start out using them a lot more frequently than I do once I've reached the kind of levels that I'm expecting. With this one, I'm actually using this once every other day. Doing the entire eye area takes me around about 10 minutes, which is nothing out of my routine schedule. As a general rule, I will do this either in the evening or first thing when waking up, depending on if my eyes are puffy underneath. If they're not puffy, then I'll leave it for the evening time so that I can get my eye creams and the products and serums that I use around my eyes to absorb better and then let that collagen induction work overnight whilst I'm sleeping. If I'm looking a little bit baggy under my eyes in the morning, then yeah, I'll use it in the morning with this product here and usually a little bit of the B Propolis serum as well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using it on this schedule schedule for once every other day for around about two months and then I will switch it up to once every three days, once every four days, once every five days and so on until I'm just at maintenance mode. My target and my hope from this device is that it enables me not to have to fibroblast my eyes anymore because as much as I love the dramatic effects and results that that gives me, it is kind of painful, the downtime is annoying and obviously the smell isn't exactly great. 
But yeah, guys, this device is a professional grade device. Unlike many of the other products that I use, this one is a little bit more expensive than normal. I also use this in combination with the Even Skin Lumo, which is a six in one radio frequency device. Again, that one is a clinical grade device, a lot more expensive than the products that I would normally choose to use. But I feel that I need to have a good mix of affordable budget options and then some more expensive options that perhaps offer more dramatic results with fewer treatments helping us all to reach our skincare goals that little bit sooner but fear not i will always continue using my more affordable devices because some of those actually outperform the more expensive ones such as the Fipushi microcurrent which definitely outperforms any of the other microcurrent devices that i've used so far but this is just to give a little bit more of a balance and mix as my channel evolves and i continue to grow i also need to grow my skincare devices that i'm testing and see if they're going to become a firm and solid part of my ongoing routine and that is pretty much it for this video so if you've got any questions at all please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below i do try my hardest to answer as many of them as i can but obviously i can't answer all of them so take a quick scroll through and see if i've already answered it and if i haven't then leave it down there and i'll try and get back to you of course i always appreciate it when you give my videos a like as it keeps the youtube algorithm happy and if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you're the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. You are amazing. Have a fantastic day ahead of you. Enjoy your week and I really look forward to seeing you in my next video. So till then, TJ over and out.